in today's video i'm gonna be talking about a software called streamlabs now streamlabs has been around for quite some time this is a free software that you can use to stream either use mac or windows which is great however this software has mostly been marketed for gamers now today i want to change that today i want to let you know that you could still use this software even if you're not into gaming this software first of all is 100 percent free second if you're familiar with obi is gonna look a little bit like obs however this is gonna be even easier to use it's gonna give you more pre-made features one of the coolest features that i love about this software is the new feature they just introduced called collab cam that will allow you to bring in guests into your live streams directly within the software which is amazing so in this video i'm gonna walk you through how you can actually download streamlabs desktop and be able to go live on youtube so we're not gonna take much time let's actually get started right now so let's go to google and type in streamlabs and the first choice obviously is gonna be streamlabs.com that's where you need to go as you can see it says free live streaming and recording software which means you could even use it to record your content so let's go ahead and click on that one and then what you're gonna see the first thing is actually here on the page it will say go live and grow your audience and where it says download streamlabs desktop okay so you're gonna go ahead and actually click as you can see it says windows because i'm using windows if you were using mac you're gonna be able to download it as well so you're gonna go ahead and actually download it again i already have mine downloaded so what you need is simply to follow instructions uh, on the screen it should not be that hard okay so once you have it installed it's gonna look like this okay so the first time you open it it's gonna look like this obviously i have few docs that i have added myself but that should not be an issue in general you should have a blank kind of interface that will look like this okay what you need to do to get started uh we're gonna go ahead as you can see just want to show you a little quick as you can see if you go here and actually click it's gonna show you different tabs how you can customize your interface we're not gonna go through this today we're gonna stick with the one that we have and if you click here it's gonna give you actually options to have a preview screen and a live screen so if you live streaming and you need to preview some stuff you're gonna be able to have those we're gonna take a look at that in a moment and if you click to this icon here it says get help so in case you need some help as you can see when you click to it it takes you to streamlabs.com slash content hub slash support okay so this is where you can actually get help within the streamlabs community now the next thing that we have if you go back to streamlabs you have this settings button okay now this is very very important uh you need to create an account with streamlabs for you to be able to go live so if you're gonna be going live using youtube this is very crucial because we're gonna go ahead and actually connect into our youtube account for us to be able to go live obviously so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and click login again for the first time it may actually ask you to sign up i already have an account with them so that's why it's actually asking me to log in we're gonna connect with youtube okay so let's go ahead and actually click youtube and what's gonna happen is gonna ask you to actually choose which google account or google email that is actually associated with your youtube account so you're gonna go ahead and actually click and actually follow instructions and choose your youtube channel name as soon as you choose it and you allow it you actually gonna be able to be logged in using your youtube account so now we are actually logged in you're gonna get some notifications here so in case you have like you know some new products and stuff like that this is where you're gonna get all your notifications if you click to this icon it's gonna tell you show you some stats about the performance and everything for your cpu and everything so probably don't need this right now so if you are familiar with obs you probably have an idea so you get some scenes 
and sources and you get some sound mixer here basically scenes would be where it's like a composition of different elements including your microphone your audio and your camera and stuff like that sources will make a scene so a scene is made of my camera my audio my graphics together they will actually make a scene but don't worry we're gonna get into that right now and your mixer this is where your sound is actually going to appear and everything and obviously you get a record button if you want to record your content you got your replay buffer and you got your test for some widgets this software has some widgets which is gonna be this is a little advanced and works well with actually people who are into gaming and you got your go live button We're gonna go ahead and actually create our first scene click add a new scene on the plus sign and then we're gonna call it main scene okay and then click done okay so this is our main scene we're gonna go to that scene and then click add source okay as you can see we have multiple sources or multiple options available for us for the first time may be overwhelming a little bit but don't worry i'm gonna walk you through everything so you understand or you have an idea okay for the first time if you're streaming what you need you need two or three main scenes the first scene will be your main camera or you talking kind of on the screen your other scene will be maybe the intro scene or the countdown timer kind of thing and maybe another scene to when you end the stream usually now if you're having some guests on your show that's gonna be another scene that will be added so you may have maybe need a scene where you're showing yourself and a guest on the stream as well what we need to do for our main scene this is like our kind of talking head kind of scene we need to add the first thing is gonna be our camera okay we're gonna go and actually go to where it says general and we're gonna go to video capture device we're gonna click uh, here and then we're gonna click to add source and we're gonna call it atem mini again this could be your camera one or anything it's just my atm mini is connected as my main camera click add source and as you can see it's gonna give me these options to choose my camera as you can see shows up here it says black magic design so we're gonna go ahead and actually click to black magic design resolution you could actually go ahead and leave it device default it's gonna be full hd that's my item meaning don't have to worry about that as you can see is 1920 by 1080p frames per second you can leave it that way color space you can actually as uh, sometimes you can either go default or go 709 personally 709 works well color range again depending on what kind of camera you're using you may be using webcam whatever just click full color range and that's pretty much it. you don't have to do much once you're done for audio output mode capture audio only always leave it like this anyways i'm not gonna use the audio coming for the atem mini once i'm done i'm just gonna click done and as you can see really there's no audio usually if i had some audio connected it will actually show up on the screen here but as you can see i've got my camera already in which means you know if i were to go live or just go live however there's no audio yet okay so what we need to do like right now i'm using a usb microphone okay as you can see i'm actually recording here in adobe audition so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and add that microphone as well so we're gonna go to sources same scene we're gonna go ahead and add our usb microphone this is gonna be our audio input capture so i'm gonna click to that and add source i can actually call it tc40 this is the type of microphone that i'm using as soon as i click tc40 i say it's device here i have different choices here but i can go ahead and click microphone uh, toner tc40 right here just make sure you choose the right microphone now if you are into music production or maybe they say you were streaming a church service or something like it's kind of a big vent usually you would have maybe a sound mixer or an interface and you could use that interface to bring in your audio so so many choices again you got it gonna it, this is gonna depend on what you actually streaming so once you're done you don't really have to play with this stuff uh, that much once you're done you're just gonna click this x thing 
and boom you're good to go so as you can see now as i talk i have my audio coming from my microphone and it's showing okay so right now it's actually done i don't have to do that much if i was to go live i would just hit the go live button and i'll be live on my youtube channel however we still need to make a few more scenes so we're gonna go ahead and actually create another scene we're gonna call it intro and we're gonna go ahead and click done we want to make sure we put this scene first because the intro comes first right now for this one what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and actually browse something from my computer i have an intro video already made for me so i'm gonna go ahead and actually hit source click media file okay this is gonna be a video pre-made if you had a picture it could be a picture it could be uh some background that says you know starting soon or anything you could actually go ahead and click that as a picture so now because i have a video file i'm gonna upload a media file and i could call it intro and then click add source and i'm gonna go ahead and actually browse the actual video so i've got this file here that i use on my amazon live streaming so it says starting soon okay it's just a quick example so i can go ahead and actually bring it in as you can see it's a video it's kind of looping okay so now we have our intro which is starting soon we could add some music if you wanted to go to media file and as you can see we got mp4 mp3 so we can add a different source here and then we could call it music and then go ahead and actually click source go ahead and browse let me go ahead and grab some music here there we go so we've got some music here obviously i can make a loop as well and once we're done just click close okay so as we hit the intro as you can see the music is actually playing okay again i have the ability to reduce the volume just to make sure you know it's not distracting or anything okay i can even mute the music if i wanted to which is super super cool so we have our intro scene we have our main scene which is my camera and then what we're gonna do if we wanted to we could go ahead and create the same thing by creating a new scene here hit the plus sign and then click outro and then click done and then go to sources and then we can actually go ahead and bring in image maybe add source and then add image and we call it outro image okay and uh, we could go ahead and actually browse for something here so this is the image we have for the outro boom and then click done and as you can see it says thanks for joining our live stream and that's pretty much it if we wanted we can still add some music obviously it's gonna create this kind of dynamic feel obviously again this is gonna be your choice you have to be creative and design your own stream all right so here's how it goes the intro when you start then you go to your main scene say hey welcome guys what's up my name is sam as you can see you got your audio your microphone and everything and once you're done you're just gonna go to the outro and say thank you for joining our live stream again if you remember as i said you can click to this icon and have two tabs here so you can have one let's say if you want to change to the intro to the intro scene as you can see it will be here in the uh, preview kind of screen and once i want to go live i can just hit transition to live and i can have my main scene kind of loaded and whenever i'm ready to go live i can simply hit go like with the transition thing and it will actually go live i can have my outro kind of ready whenever i'm ready to send it to live i can simply send it to live as well the choice is yours you can either keep this kind of preview or actually just keep one screen so every time you click to your scene it will just go live okay so once you're done guys all you gotta do is you gotta go here usually what i will do i'll go to my youtube channel so i'll go to go live and i'll simply schedule a live stream okay and what i will do let's actually go ahead and schedule a live stream just for fun so this is a live stream that i did okay so i can go ahead and actually reuse the same stream okay and then visibility i can go ahead and actually make it unlisted 
and then i can schedule it maybe for tomorrow which is you know this date that you guys are looking at i don't care about the time i have my live stream kind of scheduled in my studio okay which is a copy of another live stream that i did you can go ahead and go back to Streamlabs, okay and then once i already have my youtube channel connected i will simply click uh, go live you're gonna go actually here as you can see you can create you have an option to create a new event however this is not my favorite way of doing it favorite way of doing it is actually by accessing the one you scheduled back in youtube studio it's gonna have all the juicy info like all the optimization and everything click to it as you can see you have access to everything now if i was to confirm and go live i will just go live so i don't want to do it right now because i don't want to go live but that's it once you click go live boom you're gonna be live you know so that's it guys this is how the whole thing works obviously you want to make sure you are on the intro scene before you go live right which is very very important another thing i just want to show you before we close this session i just want to show you where you can actually access your settings okay so if you go here as you can see you have all your settings okay on this settings thing you have your general settings which is your language uh, you can see your output settings and everything you can even import some obs settings which is great if you go to stream here you see you have access you can stream to youtube you can stream to facebook right now it's not connected you can stream to trovo you can stream to twitch you can also add a custom um rtmp a destination that's not listed here which is awesome okay now if you go to they have a plan that you can actually pay 19 dollars that gives you ability to actually be able to stream on multiple platforms which is even like wow you know if you want to stream on youtube and facebook at the same time and stream on custom rtmp maybe in the facebook group maybe on amazon live you could do that for 19 dollars a month with some other crazy juicy features you're gonna get if you go prime again you don't have to pay if you want to use it for free you can still be able to stream on one platform at a time but you're gonna be able to stream in full hd no problem okay so you have some output settings as well for your recording if you want to record for your audio for your streaming you can actually go ahead and adjust your bit rate okay again depending on your internet speed if you have a fast internet speed you can give yourself more bit rate which is going to give you a better quality if your internet is slow you can actually kind of lower the quality a little bit to be able to accommodate your internet speed which is great and so many other cool features that we cannot talk about right now but the most important ones are actually covered in this video so guys this is how you can go live on youtube again even facebook or any other platform using Streamlabs. you can actually go ahead if you want to bring in some guests you can go to sources depending on which scene you are on go here and this little source here called the collab cam this is gonna allow me to bring in a guest now i can go ahead and actually copy this link and send it to a guest and that person they are going to click on it and i'm gonna be able to bring them into my stream which is amazing so that's another cool feature again if you want to know how you can do that i have a video that i made specifically on that topic to show you from a to z how you can bring guests into your stream using Streamlabs. so i'll make sure i'll link it at the end of this video and i'll put the link down below in my description as well so you can actually check it out so guys this is an amazing software and i'm super super excited to bring more awareness especially for people who are not into gaming because i believe this software is amazing so guys my name is sam this is live production tips and tools thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video take care